our sprinklerinos. Today is Friday and normally we upload on a Sunday so I imagine this is a bit of a surprise for you in your subscription boxes but I hope you don't mind. The reason we are uploading today is because tomorrow me, Matt and Baby Glitter are flying out to Orlando, Florida for a week's holiday, vacation, whichever you want to say and we are super duper excited so I wanted to get this video up before I go. And this video is going to be all about the things that I am taking on the flight to keep Baby Glitter entertained and to look after her so essentially Baby Glitter's carry-on luggage. So, first things first, this is an eight-hour flight. It is also Darcy's first ever flight, so I don't know if she's going to take to it well or not well, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We have shown her pictures and videos of planes inside and out. We told her what you do on a plane. Like, I think she's kind of, she knows she's going on one. Also, I have done a ton of mummy research. I have looked on Pinterest, I've read blog posts, I've read articles, um, I've been on YouTube, and one of the things that I found most helpful was this lady called Elle. She has a main channel called What's Up Elle, but also she has a second channel called What's Up Moms. It's amazing. We've actually started talking now, but before that I was a huge fan, so when her email landed in my inbox I was like, really super excited. I had a small fangirl moment, so Elle, if you're watching, yeah, that happened. I'm going to leave the links to both of her channels below, but if you are a mother or you're interested in all that kind of thing, I strongly suggest you check it out. She basically does really easy to watch videos that are all kind of around the two to four minute mark. They're like light, easy to watch, really entertaining, but also like super useful. The two that I found the most useful were flying for toddler and taking um, babies to Disneyland because obviously those are the things that apply to me. But please go and check her out. I don't know why she doesn't have more subscribers. Also, in her last video, she dressed her newborn baby boy up in a lamb costume. If a newborn baby in a lamb costume doesn't entice you to go and have a look, there's something very wrong with you. I think, anyway. Yeah. So I have three main things to show you. What's in Darcy's bag that she's going to carry herself, what Darcy is going to wear on the plane, and what is in my mummy hold all bag. First things first, I was thinking about what to dress Darcy in on the plane because, like I said, it's going to be an eight hour flight. We're flying from London Heathrow, so that's only like an hour from our house, and also it's a lunchtime flight, so she's not going to be in her PJs, which I kind of considered putting her in for the daytime because comfort is key. But I have found a comfy clothes ensemble that consists of socks, a vest onesie, a cardigan and stretchy waist jeans. I'm also going to pack another jumper in case she gets cold and she has a blanket too but I think the key is comfort and layering and these jeans are great. They're from H&M and because they have this big stretchy waist she's not going to feel uncomfortable if she's bloated or swells. I know that sounds gross but you know how your feet swell? I kind of thought maybe babies swell. <laughs> um, and it's jersey lined so it's super soft. Honestly, if they did these in like adult range, I totally would buy these. They're kind of like maternity jeans and they have the cute detailing at the bottom so she'll be styling on the plane. Oh yeah. Next up is Darcy's little backpack. I wanted to get her something that she could have ownership of and she could be responsible for because she's getting to that age where she wants to do things herself and she says mine and I want and things like that. So I thought this would be really cute for her to carry. It's not very heavy at all. And I bought this from Dotcom Gift Shop for 9 99 and I just thought it was very apt because it has a map on and she's travelling, she's being a little traveller. I'd contemplated getting a really girly bag. There were some on the Cat Kids and website that I really liked the look of. But I opted for this because I just thought, when can you wear a bag that looks like a globe? It has two main pockets, the big massive big daddy section and the little front section. And in the front section I have packed a little um, blanket for her. This is actually a muslin cloth. And to be clear I'm saying muslin, not muslim. I've had this problem before. I'm in no way talking about muslims. It's just a type of fabric, muslin with an N. Um, it's a pink one. She really loves these. She likes to have like a snuggly or a blankie. Um, so I'm going to just pop a spare one in there in case anything happens with the other one. What she doesn't know is we actually have about 10 of the same one, so they get washed every other day, um, and she never knows the difference, which is great. Okay, a lot of stuff in here. This is her old dolly, and from reading through articles and watching videos, the general rule seemed to be small new toys. This is a small old toy because she loves this, and I want her to have some things that are like comfortable, and she's used to them, and 
you know, she's going to be in an environment that she's not used to. She wants to have some things that she's like, oh, there's my little dolly that I love. Also, how freaky are these dollies? They have no body, look. Sorry, dolly. They have no body, but she loves this one, so he's coming with us. I also invested in some toddler headphones. These were about £12 from Amazon, so not that expensive at all. They plug into kind of every device, and they're much better than putting those, like, little earbuds in their ear. Fun fact for you, these fit on Zoe's head perfectly, which goes to show how much of a little pea head she is. We're also taking our mini iPad, which we've loaded up with cartoons and films and music that she likes, so that she can play with that on the plane. Again, from .com gift shop, I bought these um, picture puzzle dominoes, what goes with what. I really liked them because they were kind of like vintagey. Let me show you. All the pictures are really super cute and I'll enjoy playing these with her. And I thought that since these were so lightweight and they fit quite nicely into a little box, they'll be great for like the airport lounge and sort of when we're hanging around places. Pony stickers, because we're using these as her reward at the moment for when she's good and to like help encourage her to make better decisions, so we're taking some of those. And then a giant sandwich bag full of toys and crayons, these are all the new toys, so she's got a slinky, um, one of these little things that's like a mini etch-a-sketch that she can play with, brand new rolly uppy twisty crayons, more stickers, little twisty fuzzy pipe cleaners, snakes, just because I want to put them on the plane and say snakes on a plane, I'm so lame, um, a brand new My Little Pony, some like twisty things, what is that sound out there? All sorts in there, so hopefully that will keep her entertained and that is the bag empty. Now on to my mummy bag. This bag is actually from Primark, it's not a designated uh, like nappy or changing bag. I did consider digging out the old baby bags but decided that this would be better because it's a bit bigger and I can fit more stuff that I need in there. This isn't only going to be my bag for the plane but also it's going to be the bag that we take on day trips and around theme parks and out in the evening with us so it needs to be a good size to hold all my mummy treasures. First things first, I have these two pencil cases which aren't strictly for baby glitter. This one is for my stepbrother Ben and this one is for my stepsister Holly and they have little goodies inside to keep them happy on the plane. They don't really need keeping happy, I mean they're not tiny kids. Um, Holly is 16 and Ben is 10 but Ben 10. But I just thought they were really fun. My sister said she didn't want one, so she's going to be sorry when she sees these. And as I'm vlogging the entire trip, I'll make sure to give you a glimpse of what treasures lay beneath these shiny zips. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Also, I got Ben a make your own mini dinosaur kit for him to do on the plane or in the airport because I'm a great sister, it would seem. First thing is a controversial mummy item. Reins. Yes. I know a lot of mothers don't like these, but I know a lot of mothers that really do. We are a family that like these and Darcy doesn't mind wearing it. What it is, is you strap it onto your child and you can hold onto this, uh, the arms come out here, and you know that as long as you've got hold of this, they're not going to go too far. Um, I think these are great. I mean, in airports, when you're walking around, when there's a chance that they could just run off into a road or into danger or you know, something worse. I feel a lot better knowing that we have these. They make me feel safe and I'm going with them. I also bought a wrist link which you put on one hand like this and then on their hand and you can tighten it. It's not really tight, it's sort of got a bit of stretch in it and that way when you're holding hands, if for any reason your hand holding stops, they're not going to go too far. So we've bought both of those with us. I'm taking two sippy cups, one for milk and then one to refill on the plane with water and juices. Obviously I'm going to take the packaging off and give them a wash, but I bought them new because I wanted ones that had a lid. And as you know, my house is the house where lids come to die. Whether it be beauty products or toddler sippy cups, lids disappear, so I needed new ones. Napkins and a spare muslin cloth for spillages. A spare pair of clothes in case the first one gets messy. Cozy PJs for nap time because I'm really hoping that she sleeps on the plane. Cozy blanket. A water resistant bag because you never know when these will come in handy and I just know that this will. Somebody will need a bag either on the plane or whilst we're in theme parks or somewhere 
someone will use this for sure. It's like my mummy magic brain knows. Milton antibacterial surface wipes to clean dirty surfaces and the little nooks and crannies of all those buttons on the aeroplane on the hand rest that my little baby is going to want to touch so I thought oh we'll give it a wipe first. Really really lightweight books. I saved the strawberry shortcake book from this box swap that I did with Sam Sherman so she can do this and I can kind of help her with it because there's something very therapeutic about colouring in. I don't care what age you are, colouring in should be some kind of nationally accepted hobby for adults. Just saying. Lollipops for uh, ascent and descent for her ears. And then last but by no means least, I have my Mellow Baby change bag. This used to have a change mat in it, but I took it out because it was quite cumbersome. And in here I have baby wipes, disposable bibs because I certainly don't want to come back with like food clad toweling bibs that I've got to deal with so I just went disposable. Uh, nappies in there, obviously we'll pack some in our suitcases as well. And then in the front pocket I put in the changing mat that came with our original change bag, some nappy bags and I think that that is it. I really hope that I haven't missed anything out of that and that everything goes as smoothly as possible. If you would like to see a follow-up video so when I get back I could kind of go through what worked and what didn't work or whilst I'm out there I might do a little vlog on my like vlogging camera of what stuff was really good for us and what we probably didn't need because I'm a cereal overpacker, as in like I pack too much not like I pack cereal, that's weird. I probably didn't need to explain that but if you would like to see a follow-up video do let me know do check out Elle's What's Up Mom channels and do check out my blog for exclusive pictures of all sorts of different things. I do baby glitter updates and reviews and all kinds of things on there so go and have a look. And I am off now to go and pack my suitcase because this time tomorrow I will be on a plane. Yeah baby. Alrighty, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Ooh, I'm doing an end card. There's not an end card. Oh yeah. If you would like to go and see my last video, click over here and please make sure that you have subscribed to this wonderful channel that is Sprinkle of Glitter. Ooh, this is like magic. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Why haven't you clicked like yet? Why am I being so aggressive? You do what you feel best. Don't be dictated to by me. Yeah. This went weird.